those are questions that I ask myself. Those are those are things that I was asking, and I continue to ask myself in order to, um, because I made such a huge mistake in my life of coming to prison. Outside of the law, morally, my ethics were were uh, skewed, and I look, I was, I was, I, don't know, I was just lost. So I was like, okay, I have to ask myself a series of questions that will allow me to 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 understand whether or not I'm moving in the right direction. Okay, right. is what I'm doing today gonna affect? Uh, one of the one of, a thing that I learned about the Hopi Indians is that they they thought about how their actions would affect seven generations from that point. Yeah, I loved I loved that, and I, 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 for me, um, and what was crazy is. There's a guard who works here. He's a lieutenant. His name is Lieutenant Brennan. Very strange looking. Uh, he has a knot on his head that's permanent. Like he, they call him knot head. You know, mm-hmm. that stuff. they like kids. They're like in first grade. Like they knot head, whatever. He uh, revealed to me that he was a spiritual healer, uh, a dancer. Right. Uh, like his family. He comes from a long line of that, and, and the reason he was here working at the prison was for a paycheck, but it was also to help you and to help be a force of um, goodness and assistance. That's so bad, so he's talking to me, and he was like, yo. So he saw me showing my early artwork to someone else, and I had mm-hmm. unfinished pieces. He stopped me, and he was like, you know what that means? And I didn't, I didn't like him interactions that I saw him have with other people so I was like uh yeah you know whatever and he was like hey man that empty circle means this and and, and this means this and oh let me see some of your other stuff so he's like you know what you're doing and he's like are you aware that you're like putting out sacred geometry and and then well kind of and he was like well um He's like, as I'm talking to you, I see a white light around you. You and I see it. And literally for a second, I saw a whole white film envelop my entire body. Especially on my white t-shirt, I could see a fuzz all around me. And he was like, you have light that is so bright that I've, you know, I've, I've witnessed and seen you for a while. And he's like, you have the potential to really change a lot of things. He said, um, you're energy and what you do will affect seven generations of your family. And he was talking about the karma. He said the karma of your family. He said your family's karma will, will go back three generations and it will heal that th- third, those three generations, your generation, and then three generations ahead of you. And I just was like, wow, that's profound. And he was like, I'm not just telling you these things. These are, these are things that are being told to me to tell you. You know what I mean? And I was like, man, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, it, it's crazy how that happened. And, and then the dude who was sitting there with me, like, he's like, what? Like, you know what I mean? He doesn't know what's going on. And I, it was very profound for me. And that was in my early uh, stages of, that was actually about a month after I got out of the block. So it's a lot of revelations and, and things being revealed to me about myself and about what this path I was getting on, um, where it was going to take Trace Bodoni's Extraordinary Mistakes is now on view at Sonny House Fine Art through October 30th. We are open by appointment only Monday through Thursdays, and we have open gallery on Fridays from 6 to 9 p.m. and Saturdays from 1 to 5. His works can also be purchased on our website at sonnyhousefineart.com.